It's actually 1.1 degree above. I need to be careful. All right. There you go. Bogey, bogey finish. But overall, a solid week at Chambers Bay. We played really well. And I uh, can't complain too much about that at all. There you go. Look at that. We're seven under. It's a top five finish for us in the end. Uh, another top five finish here. And that is great for us. All right. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another EA Sports PGA Tour career mode video. And today we are going to be starting the Masters Championship. We're going to be doing round one of the Masters in this video. And I am buzzing. And not only that, we are going to be doing it, as you can see on the screen right now, on sim difficulty. So I've decided to uh, to switch over to sim for the Masters, for the majors, basically. And then go back to what I was playing on before um, for the quick rounds. Or uh, until they bring in like full two round events anyway. But there you go. You can see swing difficulty, putting difficulty, hard, swing meter off, power boost off, spin control off, shot shaping off, lie effect on, zoom off, aiming arc off, putting aim point at cup. I've put wind reading to on. I don't like when you can't see like how, how much wind there is basically. I put elevation to direction only. I do think that's going to make it a lot more challenging not knowing exactly how far up and down hill it is. Uh, but that's what we're going with for now. I have seven skill points. I'm going to wait until I have eight because I get power points when I get eight skill points. And we're going to have a look at it uh, then again. And um, we'll see what happens. But basically, I think I need to level up one more time until I get eight skill points. So as you can see, right on our screen there, you have qualified for the Masters Tournament and I am buzzing for that. But first, before we do the Masters Tournament, we are going to go and check out some sponsor challenges and maybe do like a, one of the match plays on Sim. I feel like could be really fun. Let's see if we can beat Lexi Thompson again on Sim, all right? And try and get another one of these stars. Maybe we can get the one to get all four greens in regulation. That'll be nice. By the way, guys, if you want 20% off Rogue Energy, use my code, the Apex Hound. Thank you to everyone who's been supporting me by buying Rogue recently. It's been awesome, the amount of orders that have been coming through. I think there is a restock on the site now, so should be a lot of new flavors on the site, as Indy just paused me. Um, but yeah, if you are if you were looking for one of your flavors, give it a check and, uh, and see if it's restocked. And you don't forget to always use my code because you can use it more than once, multiple times, um, as many times as you like. This is slightly downhill. Don't know how far downhill, but it looks like maybe like 10, 20 feet or something like that. I'm going to go with the 185 with a little bit of a high fade on it. And we're going to try and put this close if we can. Looks pretty good to me. If it's good on distance, it's good. Yeah, it's good. That's it. Beauty. That's a beauty. Judge to perfection, my friend. Judge to perfection. All right, Lexi, what you got for me? You got to beat Lexi. We, we already beat her, but now we're just focusing on getting the, the greens and regulation and and the other things, you know, the birdies. You have to birdie three of the four holes. That's pretty impossible, honestly, on Zim, probably, because these par threes are, are pretty damn difficult, but we'll try our best anyway. We'll give it a bash, baby. Uh, I'm rocking strawberry kiwi mixed with strawberry bubblegum today. I kind of like mixing the two strawberry flavors together. Um, it's it's nice. And I'm running really low on strawberry kiwi. I'm hoping they have that restocked as well. I need to order some more of that. Um, because I can't live without strawberry kiwi. I need it in my life. Also, had quite a few new merch sales as well. So appreciate everyone um, everyone buying the merch. That was, that was absolutely awesome. This looks pretty straight, I would say. 0.1 degree above. I'm just going to go for it like... Okay, tiny bit more than that. I should have been putting it a tiny bit more to the right. But two putts on Sim is always A-OK. -okay. We'll take it. Kind of got to be a little bit more firm with the, with a lot of the putts as well to try and take some of the break out of it. Um, on Augusta, that's going to be a lot more difficult just because of how fast the greens are in nature. So we got to be we got to be ready for it. But I have played Augusta on Sim a couple of times now. So I've done Augusta on Sim difficulty a few times, and I think I was under par both times as well. So uh, I, I'm getting pretty used to playing Augusta on Sim, and I think that uh, we'll be able to give ourselves a good shot at, at potentially making the making the cut and putting ourselves into contention. Now this is just going to be outrageously difficult. So it's two. It's playing 263. The pin is up the back, kind of. I'm going to play a high fade seven wood here. Big high fade seven wood. And give it a rip. That might be short. Oh, it might be perfect is what it is. Oh, it hits the rough. Little unlucky. Little unlucky. 55 foot 5 inches. My favorite number right there, 55. And I love triple fives too. There you go. Beautiful. That's a sign of things to come, eh? That's a good luck charm for this video. Let's get it. I can't believe we're doing the Masters in this video, boys. This is going to be tense. This is going to be hype. I'm ready. The Masters Championship begins. And this is the, the start of, of the four majors in, in four months. So 
Oh no. Lexi? Oh, Lexi? She's gone in the water? Not like this, Lexi, no. All right, we fit both green and regulations, by the way, so we just need to keep that up now, honestly. Lexi's gonna drop it way over here. Is that the drop zone? Hardly. All right, we're gonna destroy Lexi once again. I'm just more worried about getting the greens in regulation now. Because obviously we're not gonna get three birdies. That just ain't happening. All right, it's a tiny bit below. Definitely goes uphill first and then downhill. I'm gonna say it's like two, uh, it looks fairly level actually. I think it's gonna be fairly level. All right, we're gonna go for it. By the way, first uh, first session in the gym today, actually, well, the pool. Uh, I'm going in the pool before I move on to the gym, but I've joined the gym, did my first session in the pool for rehabilitation today. Um, so I actually enjoyed it, not gonna lie. I was dreading it, but I actually enjoyed it. Um, it was peaceful, there was no one in the pool, and it was it was kind of good to get out and just kind of sit with my thoughts in the pool and kind of just do the exercises, and and uh, I ended up having a good time with it. Definitely tiring. I'm pretty tired now. That's why I need my bloody rogue energy right now, because I'm tired after it. I got it done this morning, and then I actually, after, I, after the pool, I went for a walk to the park and kind of just um, had a nice little stroll around. Kind of where I would usually walk the dogs before I got injured because I can't really go down there anymore just because it's a, it's down a massive hill and I'm supposed to stay away from hills. I'm going to aim just inside his marker and just give it that one. Give her welly. Par par. Not bad at all. And we're going to beat Lexi here again. She's going to go to a to two over with a with a double bogey. So poor old Lexi <coughs> is going to get beaten back to back by me. All right, I just want to make sure I get an extra star here because I don't want this to all be for nothing and get zero stars. Obviously, I'm not going to get all three birdies now, but I just need to hit the green here. Okay, so where's the pin? Front, kind of? Yes, pin's at the front. What I want is land short. What's the front of the green? 196. I think that this is going to be pretty good then. Because it's downhill. It's a decent ways downhill. Nothing crazy, but it's a decent ways downhill. I'm going to put a bit of height on this 7 iron and just try and get it to sit down. That's in the water. How's that so far fucking left? Well, there goes that challenge anyway. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't know how that was that far left, but I don't care anyway. We're not going to get three stars out of it, so we might as well um, might as well back out. Uh, or we're not going to get any stars out of it. We might as well back out and, and start the Masters up. Let's do this thing. I'm ready. I'm ready. Now, I believe there is some cool stuff with the Masters, so we got to make sure we got to we, we watch these cutscenes. We're playing with uh, former Masters champion Hideki Matsuyama, actually. And we're, of course, going to be starting at the first. Six to nine mile an hour wins. Tournament conditions. Let's do it. I'm ready. Augusta National Golf Club. Here we go. Get us underway at the Masters. I can't wait to see this little intro package for the Masters. This is going to be lit. What is it about this parcel of land set deep amongst the Georgia Pines that draws us in so? Is it the beauty? Is it the color? Is it the sound and the breezes? Is it the history? It's all of that. Everything together makes this place special. This is Augusta National. This is the Masters. Hell yeah, it is. Now, earlier this oh, morning, shit. one of the Masters cherished traditions, <laughs> the honorary stars. They got the boys teeing off. Go on, Gary. Golf's preeminent global and that's so awesome. That means they have their character models in the game. Get him in as legends. <laughs> he does a little like it. Classic leg kick. Go on, the goat. The goat alongside Tiger. Jack Nicholas, of course. Six time Masters Tournament winner, one of the game's greatest icons. Synonymous with Augusta National. Hey, Gary Blair just dropped his driver to clap. And Tom Watson, Masters I love Tom Watson. They have all their character models in the game. You gotta put them in as legends, right? Oh, they can be in the background. <laughs> surprisingly, knocked it in the fairway to the delight of the patrons assembled. It was then that the Masters tournament was officially declared underway. That's so awesome, man. Oh, I can't believe that. Golf Club in Augusta, Georgia, EA Sports so proudly presents. The Masters. Masters is underway, baby. Today, Hopefully I don't get copyrighted for any of that music because I'm not spring. cutting that out. <laughs> that's uh, so awesome. Dogwoods, live opening round coverage of this tradition. All right, we're first out. Me and Hideki Matsuyama, the first two out in the Masters Championship. This is going to be a compelling four days of golf. A lot of stories to follow as we move through the weekend and we take a look at the leaderboard here in round one. 
We don't need to look at the leaderboard because we're the bloody first out. Let's do this so thing. Frank, what a thrill for this young golfer. Got that all important first career victory earlier in the season. And with it came. Damn right, I did, baby. Coveted invitation to this great Bunker 281. Frank, well, you got to stay left of that. You know the feeling. You've been there. What do you think's running through their mind right about now? Probably everything, including breakfast, really. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. yeah. That's how you get the Masters great, underway, really, son. We, we, we are just in a sport that is very much what have you done for me lately. So you just look back and, and just because you're a rookie, forget that. You're Let's go. That's We're underway at the Masters Championship, about. baby. There's a lot of people this season that have not won. So <sighs> put you in front of that pack and then just go play and, and, and assess it afterwards. Come Sunday. Get on that first tee. Let's see it, Hideki. That's in a bunker, son. Driving. That's all it is. And just stick it in drive and go like hell. Oh, is he going to get lucky? No, he's not. Uh, that's in the bunker. That's in the bunker for Hideki Matsuyama and an awkward little shot from him there as well. So after the poor First group opening, is out. He shot his second at one. That's what you got, Hideki. Hideki Matsuyama. I love him. Great guy. All right. Let's see. What do we got? We got an easier shot than his, that's for sure. He's left Certainly himself a decent position there. It's not too bad. So it's uphill. It's not that far uphill as, as much as I remember. Under 46 Good. yards left that, to really the can hole. I? Can I? Well, wind's helping. Maybe a little pitching wedge finesse? Right. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get on up. All right. That's okay. Birdie put on the first. It's going to be tough to, to read these greens on Sim, but we're going to give it our best shot. I've, I've been getting better at reading the greens on Sim for sure. It's not easy, but you kind of... I kind of just got to go through it. Go through the process a little bit. It takes this a little bit more time for sure. So as you can see, it's below. I definitely close. think it starts to pick up a little bit more from right to left. It's nothing crazy. It's obviously pretty steeply uphill. So I would say about one foot uphill maybe. Get onto this little view here. I'm going to give it about one foot uphill. 30, 35 foot from, from here. Going to break a little bit from left to right. It's not going to be anything too excessive, I don't think. But... Oh, I underswung it a little bit. We've nailed it. We've nailed it on the first. Birdie on the first. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you start the Masters Championship, baby. Come on. Let's go. Let's freaking go, baby. Me and Hideki gonna light it up. Well done. That is in it's a par a on one first. for Hideki. Not too bad considering his tee shot. It was a pretty garbage tee shot, shot but we're looking good. And we have the we have the second hole here to come as well. I love the second hole. I find the second hole quite difficult, though. I find it quite difficult, especially on Sim. All right, power drive here, though. A little draw. It's obviously downhill. The second shot's steeply downhill as well, so that's what we need to be aware of. I'm gonna play a bit of a, a bit of a big draw here and try and get it to oh look at that perfect tempo overswing perfect that's oh, gonna be so trouble. good no way no way get through get through get through stay there stay there stay there stay there stay there stay there oh no that's a big 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 mistake oh well, that ball came into contact with everything that you do not like into the I don't believe it what have I just witnessed man I actually hit a really good drive as well, you know, like I hit a perfect tempo. That's just, that's just a bloody error on my part. But I thought the wind coming off the left would hold that off enough for me to kind of just aim it down the left hand side of the trees, you know, just like that. That's what I thought mine was going to do, you know. That's so disappointing, yeah, man. I can't even believe it. It went in the water. Well the hell? The I don't think I've ever seen anyone go in the water two. on this hole. <laughs> That's a PBFU right there, boys. That's a PBFU. Where's the pin at? Pin is top left this time. Okay. All right, so I just need to get it out as far to the right as possible. What the f... Oh, no. Oh, my God! Hideki killed someone! Hell of a bounce, man. Has to be thrilled. Hell of a bounce from Hideki. I mean, obviously, Everything I'm not going directly out of it, am I? Yeah, did well just to advance the ball. I need a little so punch far shot, and I fairway. need to just. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. I don't know what to do here. Okay, this is where Sim definitely is more difficult because I can't see shit. I'm gonna play a little punch shot through the trees here. Just try and get it out the other side.
That's pretty good. Hit his toe. Hit his big toe. Yes, thank you. Thank you, sir. He just doesn't fancy moving out of the way at all. I appreciate that, though. Keeps it in the fairway for me. And we're going to have a we'll decent wedge shot from here. You know what, actually? Close. That's not a bad result, all things considered. I'm going to play a little knockdown. It's into the wind here. 138 knockdown should be perfect. All right, so pin is just really on the edge here on the left-hand side. So aim a little bit further right because I don't want to take that on too much. That's a bad swing, is it? Get up. Oh, it's actually so good is what it is. Oh! My God! It wasn't a great swing, but it was an unbelievable result. It nearly goes in. What an eagle that would have been. Well, actually, it wouldn't have been an eagle. What a, what a birdie that would have been. We're, we're tapping in for par now. Hell of a par, all things considered, man. I'll take that big time. Hideki struggling from there. That was a tough shot, to be fair. But wow. Unbelievable. That would have been so class if that went in. Would have been a hell of a birdie, man. <laughs> it's a kick in par, though. And Hideki's struggling for par as well. So after going in the water and Hideki down the middle of the fairway, we still might beat him on the hole. I'll take that. Hideki taps in for par. Uh, good putt there. Not really taps in, but he does make it for par. We are tapping in for par, though. After a birdie on one, we'll take a tap in par on two. One under two. It would have been disappointing to give the birdie right back, so we are cooking at Augusta, and we're leading at Augusta, too. We are the first out, but still. Not many people can say they've led at Augusta. Birdie the first, baby. So much attention, and rightly so. But this is a wonderful hole, strategic. Oh, yeah. Whoa. You need Shooting left, though. Here. This one's starting a little left. Shooting off the left. Jesus Christ, that's going to be difficult for me. Get in the fairway. Get in the fairway. Get in the fairway. Mm. It's going to be a little bit tougher out right, of the second cut, but not too much of a difference, really. I actually would prefer that in real life to be playing out of the second cut rather than the fairway. Like, I feel like you have to really get nippy with it with a wedge in, from the fairway. Whereas from the second cut, you can kind of go under it a little bit, and that's always more comfortable for me because my, my short game isn't great. It kind of just feels like it's a little bit easier to do. All right. And this is going to get way up there. At good three. shot from that, Hideki. A very good drive. He will need to see an all to it. Am I, am I further away? Yep. So for 46. Off the fairway, his second now at three. Okay, so what am I doing here is the question. Um, I mean, obviously, I think I only have like two options. I have the long flop, which I don't think is going to get there. So I have the pitch and the spinner. Well, I don't have the spinner actually, because so pitch is really my only option here. I'm going to play it pretty much directly at the pin because these, these pitches roll out quite a lot, but it's into the wind and uphill. I'm actually going to go to like 47 yards and just try and play a little bit of a high fade here if possible and try get that to stop right there. Beautiful shot. Wonderfully played. We're cooking. That's what I'm talking about. That's just beautiful play right there. Cheers, fella. Cheers. Let's go. See what Hideki got. 16 holes left and we're on fire. Hideki Matsuyama is playing a very strange one indeed. I can't even begin to fathom what he was thinking there, but if this works out... No, I, I don't know what the hell he was thinking there. The AI do some strange things, man. Like, generally, I've noticed they're pretty good, but they'll do some strange shit. Like the Tony Finau putt in the last video where he puts it all the way up the hill and it comes back down. And but that one is just something that I've not really seen before from a, from a pitch shot. Trying to use the slopes like that, but, I mean, he's got to tap in for par, so with that can't front. really uh, fault That's him too much. But this so, is an uphill. So it's a slightly right to left here. I'm going to try to take the break out of this by hitting this hard. Come on, let's go. Okay, what a start. Birdie, birdie par, birdie. And that par was a hell of a par, too. It could have been a birdie from a hole out, but two under through three at Augusta on Sim. The hardest difficulty. Unbelievable stuff here. That's a start and a half. I think I do need to be on Sim, eh, lads? I think we do need to be on Sim. Come on. Let's have it. One shot lead at the Masters. Up, oh, this one's tough, though. This is one of my least favorite holes on the course just because I feel like it's near impossible to stop. That pin position's better, though. That pin position's definitely a lot better. So, four iron, front of the green, 223. It's downhill, clearly. It's downwind, clearly. So, I'm thinking the five iron's still too much. I feel like I want to hit a six iron, but that seems crazy. Right? 
I'm gonna hit it. A little bit of a little bit of a high fade here. I'm gonna hit the six iron. My cut, cut. Hmm. It was crazy. You need to carry it onto the green. Not gonna be enough if you carry it onto the green, it's gonna run a lot. But if you carry it before the green, it's not gonna run at all. All right, silly shot for me. I should have. Uh, I had the right club in my hand. I had the five iron. I should have hit the five iron. I should have hit the five iron. That's gonna be a tough up and down from there. Hideki's gonna be in that bunker. Ooh. Nasty. I think it'll still be us first, though. I think it'll just about be us first. Right, I'm gonna play the pitch again. I've been I've been enjoying doing these little pitches. 14 yards. Yeah, just running up about five yards. Just like that. Just like that. Left us a tester. Kind of pulled it a little bit, but Lovely pitch five foot up. for par. Just not bad. Air, not fall this one. So par here would be a success well. story, in my opinion. So Deki Matsuyama getting anything better than a bogey here is going to be a success story. Because I think up and down from this bunker is just going to be a little too tough for the blast shot. Perfect execution to still have a chance to save par. All right, that's honestly not terrible, but it's still going to go off the green somehow. Hideki! Hideki! Ooh, good effort for par. It's not going to be a tap-in par for us, though. It's going to be a tough one. It's downhill. Let's say I'm going to just aim, like, here. It's 2.2 degrees below. This is quite a significant breaker for a putt this short, but it's hard to be aiming out this far. Oh, my, oh my God. God. The underswing killed me. Short. 0.2% under swing killed me, man. Tap in bogey. We'll go back to one under, but hell of an effort there. That one finished off. That's a disappointment there. That's a disappointment. But that's why I enjoy Sim. You'll actually have bogeys as well, you know? And you won't make every pot. It's it's actually quite difficult. Which I enjoy. Now Hideki is gonna miss this putt, is he? Don't do it, Hideki. Thank you. Alright. McNeely takes the lead after birdieing the first two, though. Trent McNeely, I think that is. Let's see what you got. So, 320 to the second bunker. No small feet. Still have one. I'm going to power drive this. And just aim off the left bunker there. I want to try and just get to that, like, 150, 160 mark for my second shot. That's pretty good, I think. Wasn't a great swing. Clearly overswung and, and fast, but that's going to work out just fine now. Perfect shot. That's going to be a, about that 150 mark that I wanted. 162. All right. Perfect. Great shot. And the bogey hasn't really dampened my spirits at all because I said before, like, that hole is really difficult. Always has been one of my weaker holes. It's, a, it's just one that I struggle with. It's one that I feel like everyone pretty much struggles with. Um, but Ooh, I like the look whatever. Of that. We that's missed a putt. Nice. It's going to happen. We're going to make bogeys at a, at a gust on sim. We just need to bounce back in the right ways. And that is a perfect drive to bounce back there. Let's see if Hideki Matsuyama from 209 yards out and put it on the green. He's about a good 40 yards behind me. But it won't matter if he puts this one close. And that sounded good. It looks good. Oh, what a shot. It's going to be short. All right. Get out of here, fly. Well, Lightly downhill. Point, really? Check in with Noda. I don't really see that, I'll be honest. Does not guarantee that you're going to hit the green. A series of undulations. All right, I'm going to come back with this really a little bit. I'm going to finesse the uh, little eight iron finesse here. A little right. Yeah. Okay. Don't spin. All right, that was a good shot. Solid shot. That's Seventy foot for birdie. Too, and this all honestly, fire isn't the worst, but it'd be a big bonus to get a birdie. This will require the full attention. A huge the full attention of Hideki right Matsuyama. Trying to get it in there close. Bang. Hideki. Yeah, that's a good nice putt. putt. Really good Getting putt. It it's gonna be a kick in for par for this Hideki. Now, this is gonna be Just a little bit above my feet here, mark. right at the at the ball. And I think it kind of straightens three. out after that. And these are the I'm gonna go somewhere drill. just They're outside that line the there. This and is it uphill? It's slightly in. uphill towards the end, so I'll give it to like 22 foot there. Give it a chance to go in the hole. Don't want to be leaving these uh, these any bit short, and that's a good effort. It's just a little bit too much. A little bit mm, overdone there. there a little bit overdone. The fast probably didn't help us there. It was fast 1.1%. 1 
it's a level straight one back though as i said two putts on on sim is always a okay always a okay with me and we steadied the ship after the bogey on the last hole that's another tough hole and uh we'll head to head to the sixth at uh at one under par we're still under par and that's the main thing Hideki Matsuyama just about okay, makes that one. Bloody hell, I thought he left it short. Yeah. All right. This hole, this hole is difficult, I think. It's just, especially at that pin position, I find it a difficult one to manage. But I think a little seven iron, a little high fade seven iron will do the trick here. This might be too far. I'm going to bring this back just a touch. I'm hoping that's not too far. Oh, it's bloody ideal is what it is. What a shot. Oh, what a shot. Great shot there. Okay. 13 foot for birdie. Beautifully done, sir. We've read the elevation really nicely there. And we've played a blinder. Well done, son. Well done. Deki Matsuyama going a little bit right of it. And that's a safer spot to miss it out there, honestly. That's actually going to get a good kick onto the green. All right. Okay, Two good putts for Birdie there. 21 there. foot for Decky, 13 foot for myself, and uh, we'll see if we can come out of the sixth here with a couple of birdies. Ain't this no reason we can't make these ones, Decky. Let's do it. Left. Let's do birdie. it and do it again and do it. All right, calm down, everybody. Bloody hell. Immature. Decky Matsuyama goes left. It goes left, yeah, son. Just, this will be a All right, so this is above, point. and it's quite a little bit uphill as well. I wouldn't say it's, like, extremely uphill, but I'll give it to, like, give it to, like, 20, just to be safe. I'll give it to, like, 19, maybe. Uh, 1.3 degrees above. I'm going to play it inside the line this time. We went over the line for 1.4 last time. I feel like it straightens out again after the very heavy start. Perfect! Oh, Perfectly yes. done! Come on! And if you don't know how I'm reading the greens, by the way, check out Respawn's putting video. Respawn Sports putting video. That's how I'm reading the greens. That's how I'm kind of going through my process. It's basically just a little bit of um, looking at the degrees, looking at the lines. Because there's no beads, obviously, on sim. It's a little bit more difficult, clearly. There you go. We've tied the lead once again. Come on. Tied for the lead at the Masters once again. At an even 450 yards in and we head to Pompas. This hole is hit or miss for me. Tee shot's tough. And oftentimes lead to a bogey or worse with the three front bunkers preventing any thoughts of running mean about the tee shot. The green. I feel like this happens to me often. And this makes it really, really difficult to get anywhere near it now. Like really difficult. Pine straw. They're going to move me a little bit because I, I don't think I, my backswing would have to clack, clock that tree there. So I think they're going to move me out a little bit. But yeah, that makes it very, very difficult. I don't know. Like, I didn't even hit that tee shot that bad, I felt like. It was 0 0.5, 0 0.6 on the overswing and the fast. Which usually doesn't affect it that much. But Hideki's joining me. There's something about this tee box that just makes you hit it out to the right a little bit. Coxer did it in our match against each other. If you missed that, by the way, me and Coxer did a match at Augusta on Sim. If you want to check that out. Um, and he hit a shot from in the trees here, actually. He hit it, th he hit it through the trees, and it ended up uh, being like one foot away, which is was one of the most incredible shots I've seen on this game. Um, it was really nice. Oh, he clipped it. He clipped the trees, and that's what I'm worried about now. Okay. We do not have anything nice. Wow. Well, fuck. Okay. All right, what do I do? I'm gonna try play a big high draw and try and look at that. It's a horrible lie, man. I'm gonna try play a big high draw here. I should probably just hit a. I should probably just hit a punch out. But after seeing Coxer shot, I gotta go for something. Not a bad effort, you know. <laughs> we'll take that. We're in the bunker. Nicely done indeed, sir. Hideki Matsuyama with a beauty. He's gonna have a beauty. Watch. I'm calling it right now. It's gonna be good. Don't be good from Hideki. Oh, he nearly clipped the tree again, but he didn't. I told you he's going to have a beauty there. That's a, it's good. That's good. Nicely and we'll done. probably take something similar there, if I'm being honest. This is not going to be easy at all. The green. But let me see here if I can get a better view of this. Okay, there we go. I want to just play it beyond the pin a little bit here to be safe. A bit overswingy. It's not great. It's not great, but seven okay, foot for par. We don't want to have another back. bogey here. A PBFU is not on the agenda. A PBFU is not on the agenda here for me, son. Yeah, well 
Hideki makes his. We gotta follow him in now. The crowd goes wild for Hideki Matsuyama. Quite a significant portion of break here. 2.1 degrees above. I think it straightens out a little bit after that, but definitely not gonna be the easiest putt in the world. It's slightly downhill. No, it's not. It's not really. It's fairly flat. Smashed it. Absolutely smashed it through the break. I actually think I would have made that if I didn't have so much overswing on it. I think I probably would have made that still. That's a disappointing bogey now because it was a silly putt. A silly putt indeed, but uh, a PBFU again. Our second PBFU of the day. We go back to one under par, but uh, solid stuff here. I mean, that was just the tee shot that let us down there, really. You know, tee shot let us down, and other than that, we've been fairly solid. Now we'll head to the eighth. This is going to be a difficult one to reach. It's a possibility, but it's not easy. Hideki Matsuyama is going to clobber one down the fairway here. Good shot. Good shot. Just what you want. Good shot from Hideki. 261 left. Yeah, he can definitely reach and. Yeah, I generally aren't hitting, face. like, That's banging shots. Right it's uphill there. is the only thing. All right, 550. I'm going to just play it over the right side of this bunker. I do not want to bring that bunker into the equation. Wow, that's dead left. Not a good swing. Man, that's disappointing. Hit someone. Hit someone. Come back out. All right. It and did come back out. It's probably still not going to be reachable. I'm hoping the pin is at the front the rather than the back, side. and it might be okay for us. We hit, a, we hit that, that bitch in the leg, I think, and... Came back out into the fairway. Hideki is going to be looking to hit a big draw here and get there still. I'm thinking. Yeah, nice shot from Hideki. Is that going to get there, though? No. All right, can we get there? I think we probably can. Pin is at the front, so that's big. We just need to make sure that we can avoid that tree, and I think that we can with that pin position. With that pin position, it's a lot easier to do. So 257, we have 250. It's up the hill, of course. Uh, I'm going to hit 7 one. Is it going to get there? I'm not sure. We got 100% lie out of the second cut here. I think this could be good. A little low bullet. Come on. Give me, give me bounce. Give me bounce. Give me bounce. No. It's the rough. If that hit the fairway, I think that's going to be pretty good, you know. But unfortunately, just hits the second cut there okay. and kills it. Little... Hit the fairway, green. I probably would have kicked right as well and went, went close. But that's the risky run there. Lucky Matsuyama. Okay, I'd say it. It's okay at best. It's okay at best for Hideki. And see if we can get up and down here. I think a flop is really the only way we're going to get this to stop. I, spinner, maybe? I'm thinking flop, though. Just to get it up and over this ridge. Wind's going to affect it a tiny bit, but nothing crazy. So, a nice little flop here. Not enough. Uh, it's two, two average shots there, to be honest. No so birdie putts, it's but longer ones down. than we would have probably Pretty liked here. Not a whole lot of break. Hideki to get back to level par. Uh, no. Nope. Yeah, that's Crowds are stacking up now. Not as big as they're going to be on Sunday, but still fairly big. Part this part is quite part. far below. Fairly flat putt, fairly level putt rather. Definitely a little bit of break from left to right here. A little bit more than that, even. Oh, the underswing again killed me. I've had underswing on a couple of these putts, and they've just not had enough. A tap in, tap in power isn't the worst there. It's just a little disappointing more than anything. Okay, that in four. Back to back fives is never that good on a golf course, but we're still under par. You know, and that's the main thing. We're playing well overall. That one finished off. We'll Decky wraps up for par. Stays one over. He's at all pars and a bogey. We've had three birdies and a bird or three birdies and two bogeys. Kevin, or I was about to say Kevin Fitzpatrick. Uh, Matthew Fitzpatrick is leading the way. I think Kevin Fitzpatrick's the fellow I went to school with, actually. Carolina Cherry. Let's get it. Feel it as you make your way up to this ninth green. I like this hole. It's a difficult one, but I like it. I like the way that's it's, that it's structured with the two tier green. Three tiers, really. That one flirting with the left um, edge of the fairway. What tier it's going to be on makes a makes a big difference to the difficulty of the hole, I would say. None of them are that easy to stay on, honestly. But good shot from Hideki. Leave himself a wedge in there. To be lucky. A little bit of a draw here. Beauty, beauty, son. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That's a beauty. Yeah, that is a wonderful tee shot. Stop now. Right where you want to be. 
Ooh, how does that stay in the fairway? Big fist pump for staying in the fairway there. Love to see it. All right, Hideki. Let's go to Noda. An absolutely well, beautiful the scene there. Augusta looks so good in this game, doesn't it? It just looks so damn good. Is that going to be good or what? What a shot, Hideki. Don't spin. Oh, great shot from Hideki Matsuyama. Gives himself a good chance for birdie here on the ninth hole. And he's looking to close out the front nine in, in style here. Great chance from here to attack mm, this whole location, I, which is on the center section of the green. You can use the back stop behind know. the hole, or make sure you get at least 19 yards into the green, or it will come off the front. All right, 19 yards into the green. What does that mean to me? I'm gonna hit a 150 finesse here. That might seem crazy, I know, but it's uphill into the wind. It's quite a hefty wind. I'm gonna play it like that. I'm gonna play a little bit right of the pin anyway. I don't wanna. Don't wanna take on that pin too much. That's a bad golf shot. Jesus Christ, is it bad or what? I was way fast and over swingy and just overall pretty damn bad. So what we got here is a tough little pitch shot. This is where the spinner comes in handy, actually. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hit an under swingy spinner here, like big under swingy spinner, because you do not want this traveling too far. A little too under swingy, but good shot. Good shot, giving ourselves a. A five footer for par. Not a gimme, but good shot, and uh, we should be cleaning up for par. You'd have to, you'd have to hope. All right, Hideki, what you got for us, buddy? Oh, big birdie for Hideki Matsuyama. He gets back to level par, and we're going to be joining him if we don't hold this putt. We're going to be joining him at level par, it's slightly above. I'm going to play just outside and just. Bang it in there. I think this is going to be a confident stroke. Beautiful. Well done. Yeah, All right. Close out the front nine and one under. That's a solid front nine. Three birdies, two bogeys, and four pars. We're two back of Matthew Fitzpatrick, but we're still second in the Masters overall. All right. 500 yards. Let's go to Cam Camilla. Camilla. Camilla and that Daisy Jones in the sixth show, boys. I like her. Here at Augusta National. Right. On now to Augusta Rogue National, Energy. Second nine, beginning with a par four ten from Frank Two. If you can Hideki Matsuyama. A little three wood. Uh, probably a spot. smart play there, there I think. On 13, 14, 15, I'm going to try and draw. 16, like, I draw, I've tried to draw so a driver really here before. It does work if you get it right, but even so, I think three wood could be the correct play here. He's left himself a decent second shot, but. You kind of almost have to on this hole unless you risk playing a big draw. With that wind, it's not really, the second not really line, worth it. I'm gonna play a little stinger. Nothing to it on the first nine under. I'm gonna play a little stinger draw, stinger turn. draw here with, with the no driver. Front nine, Rich, and as we all know, the water starts at 11, 12, Oh, it did 13, not turn at all. 15, it did not draw. 16. Can they get through that? Come on, come back. Oh no, 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 no. Get past the streak, get past the streak, get past the streak, get past the streak. Okay. Okay. All and right. the tee shot finds the right. Not a good shot, field. really. Probably, probably a bad idea to try that one, honestly, but Watson not too bad. <laughs> Pretty bad, but not too bad. <laughs> Neki Matsuyama. Whoa. Horrible golf shot. That's an absolutely awful golf shot from Hideki so Matsuyama. The bunker on now, away trees. From the bunker. Is that tree in my way? I don't think it shot. will affect it too much. Or do I want to play below it? Do I want to play a little punch shot? But I think I, I Yeah, I don't want to risk it. Obviously, I'm not going to hit a four iron punch. I'm thinking like seven iron punch. Seven iron punch with a little bit of a high fade here. Got a decent lie in the pine, pine straw. I can't actually change the view here. Well, that sucks. Give her Nelly. Oh, it still clipped it. Come on. Even with the punch shot. No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. Don't go behind this. Don't go behind this. Okay. All right. It's definitely more difficult. Sim is just actually a lot more difficult, but I enjoy the I enjoy the challenge of it. I really do. I think a long flop here is the way. Go 38 yards. Aim a little bit left of it. And... Oh, yeah. Oh, it's beautiful from there, man. A long flop was played oh, to perfection. After being in big trouble, we've been we've been grinding, we've been we've been scrambling, but it feels a lot more realistic. It really does feel a lot more realistic. Like we're hitting we're hitting shots into the into the woods. We're hitting we're missing putts from within ten foot, which is highly realistic. 
And I like away. the challenge. I know a lot of people are apprehensive about me playing without Zoom. Um, but I implore you to give it a chance. I think that this is going to be a... I think this is going to be the way to play. And then in quick play, obviously I won't play on Sim. It's unlucky, Hideki. Because it'll give us a better chance to actually win in the quick play then as well, you know? I do believe it's going to stay out. Right, I'm just going to barrel this in there. Still nearly missed. Good par. Great par. Right now, we're getting to the scoreable part of the course soon. And that's where we need to take advantage if we can. Hideki Matsuyama is going to bogey. Unfortunate for him. Okay, that one in. It's Patrick bogeys and goes back to two under. And now we're only one back in the lead. Let's get ourselves back into a tie for the lead here. Uh, well, probably not on this hole. White Dogwood is one of the toughest holes at Augusta. So here we go. Those first ten holes were memorable enough in this first professional round of Beauty. Augusta National. But now, Beauty. here's where things really start to get. Need the power drive here because you need the extra distance to give yourself a chance to get a good iron shot because you can easily go water otherwise. Maybe so so careful. There. All right, 188 still. We're gonna we're gonna play just a little bullet draw, I think, there, because want to play it from away from the water and play it in towards the flagstick. The finish of Amen Corner, but it's also where you start to see water at the very very first time. You hit a nice tee shot on 11, and you will look at the pond. Well, not the very first time for me. Which is Ray's Creek that protect the back of the screen and then leads into the. I found the creek on one on two. Amazing part. I think it's a special part in golf. Um, Number one, you feel privileged to be able to play the golf course, let alone compete in the Masters. But it's also where all the action invariably seems to start at Augusta National. Amen Corner, Amen corner is now. dope. Is second at hole number 11. Hideki Matsuyama plays a good looking golf shot. Sit. Sit! Oh no, too much. Tough one. Hideki. Gonna be over the back. And this is where the golf tournament is won or lost this here. These, these, these few holes, Amen Corner, is just a beautiful stretch of golf now holes now. We be careful, guys. I don't think there's much room. Second. 162 left front. Yeah, no I'm gonna play one club less, and I'm gonna play a little bit a little bit safer. I'm gonna play a draw off the left, and just try and be middle of the green. Because I don't think there's any benefit to me really trying to get too crazy with it. That's gonna be pretty solid stuff there. It's long. Mm, not great, actually. Yeah, All right, me and Hideki both missing the green here, but as I said, this hole is very difficult. It's not an easy one whatsoever. Hideki has hit a beauty, though. Absolutely beauty from Hideki Matsuyama. Beautiful, I should say. I think making the cut at Augusta on Sim is a great success, though. Um, I think that would be wonderful. Let's play a little blast. Getting set to play the third shot. Into a nine mile an hour wind. I'm going to land at like halfway there. These blast shots run for days, so... And this is down towards the water as well, so I just want to be make sure we're being careful. Probably a little too careful. All right, All out of not the ideal, bunker. but this is going to come up a good bit short. It's only a small bit downhill anyway. It's nothing crazy. We're just going to give it a little, uh, give it a little go. Big save, big save. That's a huge save. Four pairs in a row after the bogey on seven. It would have been horrible to make a bogey there and go back to level par. So that's huge there. Come on, now we're cooking. Let's see it, Hideki. We got seven holes left of this round, and we're looking good, baby. We're looking good. Hideki Matsuyama makes par alongside us. And we move on to the infamous 12th hole, where many tournaments have been won or lost at this hole. Well, not too many have been won at this hole, but a lot of them have been lost at this hole. See, the wind changes quickly on this hole, which I struggle with. Like, the wind will be with you one second, and then it'll gust to the right, and it'll not be with you anymore. But it's with me right now, so I'm going to go for it while it's with me. Bloody shot. Shot. Sit, 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 sit. That's a golf shot. That's a golf shot. Yes, sir. Come on. That's good. That will not that's just off the green, but that's perfect. But that From 155 yards. Looking to make birdie. It's going to carry. Oh, ho, 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 no. Hideki Matsuyama does not carry, and I reckon he's going to be where, where I am now after this shot. Now That's usually what happens with these blast bunker just shots. They just go way over. On this par three. Yep, told ya. Yeah, he still has a putt, though. Well, We're just off, but I'm thinking Texas bunker, Wedge regardless. Right on by. Not much downhill. I'm going to hit this pretty dead straight. I'm going to hit this pretty, pretty dead accurate, dead straight. Nothing crazy with the pace. 
Oh, did not even turn it at all, and we overswung it way too much. 3.6% okay, overswing? Really? Fucking hell, we've left ourselves a big a tester wedge, for par so now. That's in the acceptable Not what range. I would have wanted right there. I can't believe how much how much overswing there was on that. Not bloody ideal. Great putt for Hideki. Great up and down uh, for Hideki. Yeah. Beautiful up and down well, out of the bunker for Hideki. Not so All right. We need to make sure that and we make this, though. Even par. A little bit uphill at the end. Nothing crazy. All right, overswinging it again, but in a positive way that time, at least five pars in a row. We got two par fives the next three now, though. So now it's time to do the scoring. We've got through the hard part of that uh, of the A main corner. It's now time to make a few baddies, mates. Let's do it. I love this hole. The Azalea. Make some noise. One hole in a thousand stories. Heroic ones. Thousand stories. Sad ones. Today, maybe a new one. Maybe a new one. Let's do it. Let's give ourselves an eagle here. Masters day one. Masters day one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a, oh, did not mean to do that shit. Sorry. Yeah, that's a well, nice swing that's okay though. Assaulted. Right down the middle is where it's going. 195 yards out. We're going for Eagle. You already know me. I'm hoping the pin is not the front. What's the Thursday pin? I can't remember the Thursday pin. Mm. Thursday pin. I don't, I don't remember. What a great deck! He's hit a good one too. Let's see what he does. He's got an iron in hand. He's going right at it. Oh, this is gonna flirt with danger. Left. Oh, Hideki! You better hope it stays up. No. Yeah, that ball see just did not have it's, a, a, it's top it left. It's the, the pin position. Right. Okay. All right. Let's see. Uh, nine mile an hour wind behind me. Up I'm gonna play a little high fade seven iron, bring that back a little bit and try and get this to, to stop close to the pin here. That's so bad. The pull. Oh, big bounce to the left too. That Horrible bounce to the left into the bunker, and that's gonna be an awkward bunker. little bunker so shot from there. The gonna have to just hit a pick and get it to here. stop as quickly as possible. Really need a right Not gonna now. be easy though. Hideki Matsuyama. Okay. Good shot from him. He's gonna have that for par. The silver pick now, by the way. Remember? So. Oh, what a shot! That's wonderful. That's gonna be a kick in birdie, baby. Yeah, Come on! Is. It's a beautiful golf hole, man. Hideki Matsuyama for par makes it. He's putted well. Not missed any one footers yet. he is. Came close a couple times, but he's made some good putts too. And we're gonna make a birdie there. It's a birdie here at 13. Two under again. Let's go. It's all this tough, actually. I like deceivingly tough as well. Fairway all slopes from, from right to left, or from left to right, rather. And then the green is what makes it difficult. And like the green is like. There's not a lot of pockets in it. It's like sloping all away from the green, mostly. Good shot, though. We lost ourselves a wedge from there. Probably a pitching wedge from where we are. Maybe a nine iron out push. Deki Matsuyama playing a, playing a little safe driver down the right hand side. Left, left himself a long one though. Gonna Beautiful leave himself a big long golf shot there. The 194. From now the let's see what Hideki let's does. The most Being quick with this one. Of this hole is Didn't even think about that one. Just lined it up. Bang. In, that's probably the easiest pin position on this green I would say. It's because there is a few the slopes towards that pin. It's like the only one. All right, let's see what we got. 150 into the From wind. The okay. Noted, this is yeah, second. I think we could just hit this. Left himself with 147 a little bit of a fade. Hole, coming off a birdie on the previous, looking for two in a row. It was just fade a little bit on me. Too much. Too much. Pretty much the exact same as our boy here. A little bit further away. Spinner from there will be the job, though. Hmm. Yeah, not great. I was trying to underswing it because I was I was actually only nine yards away in the end. They moved my ball a little bit. They moved Tadeki even closer. I think just because they don't want us to be right next to the grandstand. You got free drops, and neither of us have hit good shots there, to be honest. We maybe should have done a little bit better than that. As I'm losing my, uh, my consciousness right now. Long day for me, boys. So it's only 3 p.m., but 
already done so okay, much today. Part, hmm. And I got so much work to do as well. Right where he is. All right, we got to make sure we make it as well, Sadeki. Nope. We have done. All right. Yeah, Solid. Well done. Solid He's golf at the moment, you know? Four birdies, two bogeys, all the rest are pars. It's just kind of solid stuff right now. We're not lighting the world on fire, but we're playing really good stuff. And this par five is a fun one, let me tell you. Behind only number 13. Oh, I'm going for it, though. But it was lengthened in 2022 with an extra 20 yards added on, making that oh. potential carry over the pond with a second shot that much tougher. Oh! Come down into the second cut. That man's dead. <laughs> I got to give that man a signing glove. Jesus Christ, that was bad. That was brutal, dude. Good Lord. Deki Matsuyama. The fuck? I think he clipped the tree and he took an iron. What a strange one. All right. I, From the fairway, I guess he did go in the water the after after going Looking for it in two at the, at the last par five. So I can't, can't exactly blame him, really. But what the hell's he doing now? Okay. <laughs> I was like, is he going to go for it? Yeah, like, nobody's in a risk 50, of There's no chance. That's a good layup. A good number, All right. Sort of that pond. Shot from Hideki. I think we're gonna be laying up too. All right, do I go for it? And shot of the shot of the air? No, we obviously got to lay up. All right, little punch shot with the nine iron, faded around the tree there, and just kind of run it on down there. Not ideal, but it's always a risky one to go for in two anyway. So I'm not too upset about it, really. We'll take it. Flip the tree still, but that's a good wedge distance from there. Well, Frank, this has 145. Not been still, 145 and two zigzags. To Baby, something. that's all yeah, we need. Rich. You know, clip that all right, 140. Really just thank him a lucky I know, sauce. Like, finesse, I think, is going to be the way. Either one. Come on, that's such a good shot. Still way long. Holy shit. What? You're kidding me right now. That's crazy to me. All right. There. That was way well, long. Yeah. I don't know, though. It's nine miles. I guess it was a lot further downhill than I anticipated. Seriously, that little I don't think it was that far, though. With a flag in it. That's right. where you meant to go. I came back Not at full like club pretty much. Good shot, Hideki. Great Rich shot, Hideki. One thing about on, good on, good on. All right. Let's see if More we can pitch this in. All right. Let's pitch this in, boys. Got to be careful. We left ourselves a little tester for par. If we didn't make par here, I'd be... Deeply, deeply concerned with my golfing abilities after what we've been through here. Just about, okay. Honestly, if I finish the round like this, level par for the last three holes, I'd be happy with that. No doubt about it, I'd be happy with that because that is just a, a difficult last three hole stretch here. I think 16 is probably the easiest of the last three, but none of them are very easy, honestly. Uh, yes. Hideki Matsuyama birdies, down. gets back to level par. He is on the right side of... Oh, he's on the, the middle side. I was going to say the right side of par, but he's not really. He's, he's, he's on the middle side of par. If, if he finishes one under the last three, he'll be on the right side of par. Let's see if we can uh, put one close. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Well, you have to figure That's a this stinker. To be another exciting moment for this young golfer. That's a stinker. Not a good place to miss it there at all. That's going to be a very difficult bunker shot. I think he might actually put that all the way down. All right, let's see. Uh, 190. Yeah, it's quite incredible, Rich. Um, not just 27, a little bit of a high fade here. I don't want to try and do what he did, so I'm going to be so a little bit safer than that for sure. It's 20, 30 feet, even perhaps right or left of the flag, and then starts to take the contour. Sounded good. Could it be a hole in one? Long. Could it be like a Tiger Woods missing the green on the left? It's long, a, son. In your life. So All right, not too 16, bad. It's an in your life, it's have you seen theater, anything like it's, this? Well, it's a gust. It won't be like a, a moment like that for uh, for this pin position, but you know what? We could we could try and recreate it to the best of our ability here, even though it's not the right pin position for it. It's not terrible. It was a perfect follow through tempo. Look at that. Stop now. Stop. How does that still go seven foot by? Well, Minus 21%. Best, I just hit that, by the way. Uh, this is going 20 foot past, <laughs> past, at least. I'm calling it now. It's going 20 foot past, at least. Nope. Never mind. He didn't even get it there. <laughs> 20 foot short is what I meant. All right. Hideki going for the smart plan, putting this one. And he's nailed it. Great putt, Hideki Matsuyama. Great putt, my son. Well done. Now, this is 1.4 degrees above, and it's clearly very far uphill as well. I need to be very careful about this one. It's 
just oh it's above sorry yeah i was i was wondering i was like it doesn't look like it's gonna break that way uh it's gonna break this way i'm gonna barrel it through it through this a little bit wow did i smash it or what way too much silly silly not even close to okay really it's going to be a bogey. Uh, going to move back bogey. to one under once again. We keep getting to two That's under, but we can't hold two under. That's the third Just time we've got to two under and brought it back to one under after a bogey. Our third bogey of the round, but as long as we finish the round under power, I'd be pretty happy. I said I wanted to finish two under, but if I can finish under power at all, that'd be great. This is a tough hole, actually. Jack Nicklaus, the age of 46, made the birdie cut. 17 is one of the tougher holes, I think. It's always one of the ones that I struggle with the most. I think uh, 11 and 17 are probably... The two hardest holes and the par three the fourth is it i think four eleven and 17 would probably be the three toughest holes for me personally the ones that i struggle well, with the most i'm gonna power drive this because it's quite a long one and i just don't want to don't want to deal with the crazy long second shot so i'm hoping that's okay don't go left don't go left of me yeah it's perfect it's perfect now ideal and All right, that, is dead that should be perfect. Right Pins left. That's gonna make it difficult. This is sure. where selection is so important. Second shot sure, brother. into that stiff breeze. Aideki Matsuyama. Oh, good shot. Oh, that's unlucky. Oh, it stays up there. Oh, you lucky boy, Aideki. Go up there and mark that, brother. Go up there and mark that immediately. All right, this is quite significantly right uphill, number, and it's into the, the wind, front, so I don't think that's enough. To the hole. I'm going to say wind finesse 165 8 iron. Here we go. Good shot. Great shot. Here we go. How about supreme? Great golf shot. Hey, you're back already? Rich, is that very All right, Hideki, let's see if he can hold a long one. Feet. Oh my god! Oh, yeah, he's been robbed pace. there. I thought he'd actually done it. I thought away. Hideki had done it. All right, this it's is a massive down. chance to get a bounce back birdie right off the rip here. Not far downhill, not far at all. It's going to be fairly level. Just slightly, slightly above. Nothing crazy at all. Bang! Come on, that's a huge birdie. Uh, bounce strong. back birdie. PBF, you were the good 17. kind for once. Let's go. Rile them up, baby. And one of the hardest holds as well, this one, I feel like. We had a perfect drive, perfect finesse eight iron, and pretty much a kick in birdie. And Hideki gets the par, stays level par. He's played fairly solidly overall today. Hasn't done anything stupid. Hasn't lit the world on fire, but he hasn't done anything well, stupid and he's played pretty well. The, the AI has it its moments, you know? Oh, wind is off Good the. I'm going to just hit a little bit of a fade because I'm scared to maybe make about this one. Oh, now to the 18th tee, and Frank, what a nice round this has been so yeah, far. Yeah, beautiful. I mean, wind. Cut it, it off now, Wind. Cut it off now, Wind. Cut it off now, Wind! That's an accomplishment. It, it certainly is. I don't know. I don't know. Are we going to be blocked off? I think we're going to be blocked off. Wow, the wind just didn't bring it back. It just stayed out to the right. Like, I faded it to try and get it that way, but I thought the wind would then kind of counteract it a little bit, but it didn't seem like the wind counteracted it at all. First ever round as a professional. Should have went for the power drive. But we probably got around the corner of the trees. I don't know now. I might have to play either a big fade or a punch. We'll have to wait and see. Good shot for Hideki there. It's a tough hole, this one, because, like, the drive is oh so important, you know? It's very important. So now, up the hill, he is second at 18. Hideki Matsuyama. Oh my god, what a shot. Oh, nearly what a shot. Now, this is a very difficult pin position for anything other than a wedge. Very difficult pin position for for like a shot like this. So, like so we're going to have to run it in there. This one. Yeah, I don't know. I think I might just play it safe, honestly, because I don't think... I think any type of shot I do here except a punch is clearly not going to get it up there. So I'm going to play a little punch up the, up the hill here. A little six iron punch. Middle of the green. That's still not getting there. Not even nearly getting there. Wow. Hmm. I guess it was quite significantly Ooh, uphill, but... Alright, flop from here. I need a flop. I need a masterful not flop is what I need. Easy. Masterful long flop. Come on, baby. This is my moment here. I don't think that's going to be enough. You know what? I think it will.
That's a mistake. Why did I listen to myself? I said I don't. I, I should have listened to my first instinct. First instinct was that's not enough. Into the wind, up that hill. It's this not enough. Now I need to get up and down for bogey. Bunker. Dumbass. Absolute donut. All right, we've left ourselves a task there for bogey. Nightmare, boys. Absolute nightmare. All right, no worries though. Can't complain. All good, baby. Hideki has this for par. And I have that for bogey. And yikes, man. If we don't finish this round under par, this is going to be depressing. Oh! All right, we need to make this. Can't afford to miss this one. Below, downhill, clearly. Need to make sure we don't do something stupid here. Yes, come on. Okay, come on. Under par head. round. A topsy turvy round. A lot off. of bogeys, but a lot of birdies, too. Well, I was at five down. birdies, four bogeys, par. and nine pars. We'll take that. Hideki's going to bogey the last as well. He will finish his round one over. Um, disappointing finish for him, but overall a solid round of golf okay. as well. Shake of the head. And uh, yeah, exactly. we'll take it. One under par. We're in contention. We need a big round too. Sung Jm, Scott Stallings, six under. Matthew Fitzpatrick, five under. A lot of four unders there as well. But we're in the hunt. We're in the hunt at Augusta after round one. And that is all I could have asked for on the new sim difficulty. 100%. Thank you guys so much. For all the support on this series it's been incredible and i hope that this this part is one of the bigger parts so far right? because let's get the p masters party started we're seventh in the official world golf rankings we're uh, fifth in the fedex cup and you know overall it's it's looking like a good time for us here and we're coming into the masters with some hot form let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and do good all right so as you can see it shows a little flag above it if you finish in the top 10 so four top 10s and a win well uh, I guess that's five top tens then. <laughs> a win and four top tens other than the win. Um, so really solid season from us so far. And we're looking for another top ten, maybe even another win at the Masters Championship. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll be back with more in the very near future. It's been my pleasure to serve you all. Thank you all so much for being a part of this ser series and community. Appreciate you all. See you next time. Peace out. Break.